man, there is something about when the weather is just perfect that makes you want to get outside and enjoy your local area. <laughs> it seems like I like where I live a lot more when the weather is just perfect. A cold front just came through and we're out here at the pumpkin patch today. But I wanted to talk about what are the best Canon cameras to buy in 2021. When I actually get out and look around and enjoy what's around me here in South Mississippi, it's like there's so much to do and I kind of feel like it's kind of the same way with cameras. Canon has released so many great cameras recently that it's hard to choose which one to buy in 2021. It's getting competitive over here on this. <laughs> Take it easy on the little kids. Yes, it went up the hill. No, stop it first. Stop it. Then kick it. And if you are in the market for a Canon camera, here is my top five Canon cameras to buy in 2021. Starting with number five, which is the Canon RP. The Canon RP is the first in the Canon R series lineup, and it's a great camera. It's got a full frame sensor, shoots in 4K, 26.2 megapixel photos, and the little tilty screen that goes in and out that's great for doing videos like this. Now it does have a 1.6 times crop factor when you're shooting in 4K, so it's gonna zoom in a little bit more when you're shooting in 4K. And the battery life isn't <laughs> the greatest, but the Canon RP is a great camera to buy. You'll find links to all of these in my description on Amazon. They are affiliate links. Uh, you don't have to pay anything more, but I do get a little bit of kickback from it when you buy from the links in my description. Number four on my list is the Canon M50, which is an APS-C sensor camera. So it's gonna have a little bit of a crop factor. It shoots 4K, comes with a built-in electronic viewfinder, and it's got the flippy screen, but it doesn't do as many things in 4K. And the controls on the outside of the camera aren't gonna be as professional as some of the other cameras out there. The third camera on my list is the Canon R6. It is the little brother to the Canon R5, and it comes in much cheaper than the R5, but it's still quite expensive. But it is an incredible camera. It's got built-in stabilization. It is a full-frame camera. It does 4K, but it doesn't do 4K at the high frame rates, but it does high frame rates in 1080, which I think is perfect. And especially if you're just doing videos for YouTube, it's gonna be great. A lot of times I record in 1080 and just upscale to 4K to upload to YouTube anyway. And if that's what you're doing, the Canon R6 is gonna be great for you. Number two on my list is the Canon R5. It's the bigger brother to the R6, and it is another full frame camera, in body stabilization. It does 4K at up to 120 frames per second, and this camera will last you a long time. It will be a great professional camera, great for photos. It's a 45 megapixel camera, 12 frames per second mechanical shutter and 20 frames per second with an electronic shutter. And on video mode, it is an incredible camera, same autofocus system as the R6. But if you had all the money in the world and you just wanted to get the best Canon camera, that's out there right now, which one would that be? And that's my number one pick, which would be the Canon R3. And that's not even out yet, but if everything is right about this camera, this is gonna be the killer camera of them all. The only thing I hope is that there's no overheating issues like there were in the Canon R5 and R6. Now, they've done some firmware updates and those have gotten so much better, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen here, but the Canon R3 has a 24 megapixel stack sensor, dual pixel autofocus, so it's gonna have incredible autofocus. It even has eye autofocus. You'll be able to look into the viewfinder and pick part of the screen and be able to focus based on where your eye is looking. 30 frame per second electronic shutter, so you're getting video quality shutter speed with photos. The video mode on this thing is going to be insane as well. What do you guys think of that list? Let me know in the comments if you guys thought that list was good. Let me know your thoughts. What camera do you guys use? I actually don't even have any of these cameras, but if I were to buy a new camera, I would go with one of the ones in this list. I'm using older cameras for my photo cameras, and I just picked up a Canon C70. I left off all of the cinema cameras in this video, but I bought a Canon C70 for my business and for the majority heavy lifting work of my YouTube channel. Right now I'm shooting on a Canon 80D. The Canon 80D only shoots in 1080, but 
Honestly, I'm thinking DSLRs are a dying breed and we're going with more mirrorless cameras. If you notice, I think all the cameras in this list are mirrorless. That's an interesting take. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video. How's your sandcastle coming? I'm just trying to make it really like gray right now to make the color of a sandcastle. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the wet sand so that it'll stay up. No, I'm just trying to get the gray fish poop. Gray fish poop? That's gross. It's not fish poop. It's not fish poop? Nope.